right, uh, so I moved to Missouri and I live here now and um, today we're going to fish, which is the first stream I've ever fished in Missouri. Um, not this time, but I came one time in the past. And, and uh, yeah, all the answer to the question, today is a cloudy day. It's in the middle of summer, but it's a cool day for summer. It's like highs in the low 70s, like 72. And there's been rain all week. So this creek is pretty muddy down in the lower stretches and pretty clear in the upper stretches, right where it's spring fed. I want to throw dries because that sounds fun, but I don't know, it's a cloudy day. Are we going to catch them on dries, nymphs, or maybe even little streamers? So this is, I think, all rainbows in this stream, but um, conditions suggest, um, well, I don't know what they suggest. I'm going to try some terrestrials and some dries and try a little bit of everything, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so the stream is kind of cool because you basically can drive the whole length of it um, at first and check it all out and then fish your way back up. So these lower reaches are pretty muddy, which is fine, but I think they're a little too muddy. So I'm going to move up some now. One thing that's nice about using this short rod is I can just put it right in my car. Okay, so I downsized everything. This is my nymph now. I call it the Dark Prince. It's got two biots on there and then a little bit of leggy looking stuff, bright silver bead. And then my dry. And my dry is gonna be, I think it's called a Peterbaugh caddis. Real leggy, real bushy. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna move up one more time. This time is not so much for water clarity as it is for temperature. I just haven't seen any trout today. And I'm kind of thinking I might be in the lower reaches of this stream where the water warms up too much and the fish just either aren't here or aren't active. I'm gonna try to get up to some cooler water closer to the spring. Hopefully that uh, leads to some trout. All right, so this water's looking a little clearer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, that was a pretty nice fish. Um, and I fought for it. Been out here all day, haven't caught a rainbow yet. Caught a few suckers and stuff like that, but this pool looked really good. I had gotten to this part of the river, or this part of the stream, and one guy had gone upstream, another guy had gone downstream. Um, I decided to go downstream because that guy had left more recently. Um, and there's this deep hole right here, and I approached it from like way below it, way down here, so as to not spook anything in the hole. And then I threw a nice little deep Nymph in there. Man, man, I had to fight for that one. Nice. Guy just walked by and said, Pat's rubber legs, and I put one on and caught one. Just like that. All right, so pulled together three fish in total, three rainbows, and a few uh, suckers and stuff like that. But that last fish was sweet because um, a guy walked by and was like, I've caught nine on Pat's rubber legs. So I, uh, Put on a big patch rubber leg stone fly that I've got and with a tungsten bead. Made a few more casts of that and caught a nice one right away. So thanks to that guy. I didn't get his name, but he's been slaying it out here and his tip helped me. So yeah, the last fish is pretty nice. Another six or seven incher. First one is definitely bigger, I think, but I'm excited to come back. And I guess the answer today to our question of dries, nymphs, or streamers was Pat's rubber legs. Ooh, check out this butterfly. Speaking of what nature has to offer, also freaking trash, man. Somebody left their trash out here. Pick up your trash, people.